This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. I had to change locations. <laughs> Yesterday was super dark, and because I'm not very good at that part of being a YouTuber, you know, the most important part, the camera and the audio, uh, I just switched. So this is what, temporarily, until tomorrow, hopefully, that's fingers crossed, hopefully my stuff gets uh, delivered tomorrow. Um, hopefully the moving company that will remain unnamed for now, hopefully they follow through on their third promise that tomorrow will be the day. Anyway, today I want to talk about the my pillow goof, Mike Lindell. Any criticisms that I get relative to why are you still talking about Trump? Why are you giving him press? Why are you talking about Mike Lindell? Why are you talking about the insurrection and the attempt to overturn a free and fair American election? Why do you still talk about this? And I always say, because this was a practice run. If they um, failed this time, they will learn from their mistakes and they will try again. Also, uh, related to talking about my pillow guy, Mike Lindell, it is because people need to know just how dangerous the situation was leading up to the insurrection, where this idiot, the guy that I'm going to play a clip of, uh, was had an audience with the President of the United States. He was seen outside the White House with declare martial law on his notes as one of his punch list items, um, giving counsel to the most powerful leader on the planet. For us to ignore it is to put our heads in the sands and wait for the next time that it happens and the next time they may be successful having learned from their mistakes. He was on Dr. Gina's show on Real America's Voice, like there's a real and a fake America, these assholes, and listen to what he says. We're going to break down the clip into, into what's, I'm going to play it, and then I'm going to talk about different aspects of it that, that are cause for alarm and concern. Here it is. Everything you're going to see over these next seven months to get rid of the machines, you're going to see the Supreme Court case coming out, all these great things, everybody. By the way, you can find more at frankspeech.com. I'll put that, little out, put that out there. There are so many. I'm more optimistic today than I have been yesterday, the day before that. It, I'm on an incline like this. Why? Because it's so amazing. All the things that we have, we already have all the pieces of the puzzle. And you talk about evidence. We had enough evidence to put everybody in prison for life, 300 and some million people. Uh, we, we had that all the way back to November, December. But what we have are these other things that had to happen, which was all evil revealing itself. I mean, evil's popping up like pocket gophers. I mean, they pop their heads up, it's whack-a-mole, right? I mean, it, it's everywhere. And that all had to be revealed so that we can fix it. A number of different things there. One, he's leading people to his frank speech website, which was supposed to be a competitor to YouTube. He never got it off the ground. He took phone numbers. And at least once a day, I get a text message from the Frank Speech website with coupon codes to buy his stupid pillows. It's a grift. It's an absolute grift. And I'm beginning to believe that it's very possible that this entire thing is a grift just to bolster sales within the, uh, the MAGA world who love and revere him and his product. But the, the line about 300 million and some, they have evidence that we should put them in jail. There's only 330 or so million Americans. So he's ostensibly saying that the vast majority of Americans con committed voter fraud, fraud this past election, and should be jailed. If that is not alarming totalitarian nonsense, there, there has never been totalitarian nonsense. The other thing is that he keeps pushing the, the kicking the can down the road. That it was in before the uh, before the inauguration, Donald Trump was going to become president again. Now he's not really talking so much about Donald Trump being, being president. He's talking about this Supreme Court case that was supposed to happen a couple months ago. 
Remember, I did a video about it where I had the lawsuit, no lawyer signed, nobody was signed on to it, it wasn't submitted to the Supreme Court, it was just a Photoshop job. I have that brief. <laughs> Five pages of it anyway right now. It's 84 pages or so, 82 pages. Um, it's not signed. In fact, it says, state of, insert your state. <laughs> So even in his attempts to, to usurp democracy and insert himself or reinsert Donald Trump by inserting himself into the system, uh, he is incompetent. The my pillow goof. And that's what we have. While Donald Trump is on the verge of being indicted for election fraud in Georgia, we've got this idiot, Mike Lindell, going across the, the conservative media sphere trying to promote his conspiracy theories as well. And the reason it is important, once again, is because Mike Lindell had audience with the President of the United States. Private consultations with Donald Trump in the Oval Office. That is alarming. He is, he might not be as complicit as the Roger Stones and the Steve Bannons relative to the insurrection, but he certainly created an atmosphere fostered an environment that uh, fueled the frenzy and the conspiracy theory surrounding the election and Donald Trump's loss, because he lost in grand fashion. This is why we should always continue to talk about this. There are obviously are other topics, but we can chew gum and walk at the same time. We need to be focused on the policy agenda uh, of this administration, getting things done to make people's lives better, but without a democracy, and if they win, we do not have a democracy. Without a democracy, none of the good things that we can bring to pass will happen. That is why I continue to talk about it. Anyway, uh, if you appreciate what I do, I would uh, ask you to consider supporting my work here on the platform. I will soon have a bona fide real studio <laughs> once again, and not just be sitting in my, uh, in my house in front of some blinds. Uh, you can click the join button below, become a channel member for as little as $1.99 a month. You can become a channel, mem channel member and help support my work, help uh, produce my work here on the platform, or you can head on over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both of those are fantastic ways to help support my work here, not just for the podcast. Follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore just about everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. That would be great. Fantastic even. And uh, I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.